Okay, so I'm stocking up. Um, I'm not a white sugar person, but you're going to understand why I have white sugar here. And let me see. I'm looking for the pounds. There's like 32 pounds here. I grabbed two bags of these in one of our famous box stores. I'm not going to advertise for them. Okay. I Let me let this down. There's this thing called MSM that's turned into CCD. I, I'm not sure we're going to get into that. This is... Something that a scientist made. I'm not going to say that I made what he made. I'm not going to make any disclaimers that this has any cures. But for me, I make stuff to self-cure. I'm not into uh, the traditional uh, med medicine, okay? I don't even want to use that word. I'm trying to use find words to substitute that. Oh, um, so this is a very big thing. This cleanses your blood. Well, I'm not going to say it's going to cleanse your blood, okay? I believe it cleanses my blood. How's that? I'm going to talk for myself, okay? Uh, something very similar to this. I'm not going to say it's an identical thing. I'm not going to say I'm a scientist. But I got the recipe from a scientist. And I'm not going to say I did it accurate. Because I'm not going to... I'm going to make all these disclaimers to protect myself. Okay. Uh, but this was used... Something similar to this was done by a scientist from Switzerland, I think, or Sweden. And he lives in Spain. And... Um, he made this concoction to help people that were dying. They were dropping like flies in, in Ecuador. And this, something similar to this is what saved them, okay? So I, I took the recipe. I, I did it to the to the way I feel is perfect, uh, perfected for myself, okay? I don't sell medicine. I don't sell ingredients. I don't sell any of that. But I could share his video, okay? So now also, I this is fermented rice. It's fermenting. This is for the hair. It removes the grays. And it it shines the hair tremendously. It's, it's a great thing to do. You could also do other things that I'm going to be sharing with you. This is going to be about health and beauty. Not just health. Not just beauty, but health and beauty. When I show you a picture of myself, you're going to understand why you may want to listen to me. Okay? I've been doing this for about 30 years. They say I sound young. Well, I look like what I sound. Okay, so this is, I've been doing fermenting for a few years since early 2019, which is not that long ago. It's June 2022 now. But anyway, this is, I'm using dark jars, so that's why you could hardly see anything, okay? You could see the beet juice, though. This has lots of vegetables, uh, onions, all kinds of peppers, carrots, lots of beets. It's pri primarily a beet salad, okay? Over here, this is a sauerkraut um, mason jar. It's fermenting, and you could hardly see it because it's a dark one. I'm sorry that I used this. I will be sharing so much with you that you're going to get to see other stuff that probably will be uh, more transparent <laughs> because this jar is dark with a purpose, right? Because it's, it's great for fermenting, okay? Now, over here... I made some, what you call, yeast to create a starter for bread. Where well, you could use that yeast also to start making wine, okay? So I just set this, this wine thing up. Part of this is sugar water. And the rest of it is, is grapes that I squeezed through this cheesecloth, which is why it's red. I put this amount of yeast in it, okay? So it is not perfect. I have to find out why it's not percolating yet. Why it doesn't have air. I do have powdered yeast as a backup. Okay. Um, so I'm talking to the yeast guy. Somebody who, who's from on YouTube. Who taught me how to do gromlet. And sometimes the explanations aren't clear that I had to write him. It's like cut the talking. Yap, yap, yap. Show the before and after. It starts like this. It ends up like this. In between the thing is burping all, all along so that's what's missing in this picture i'm just getting started okay so this is a food grade bucket okay and so what do i have here i have lids here that you're going to see me using for fermenting you have these over here and you have these over here this allows you to pump out the air and quite frankly i probably could try to pump out some air from here uh, but this is better designed for that. And I trust only the company that invented it. I don't go around with other copycats. 
All right, and so this is the grommet. I'm um, well, it's called the S shape. Oh, I forget. But uh, this is the grommet. I, I, I performed a. I drilled in a half inch hole in here. When you go to YouTube, they're not telling you the size. It's like these people are going crazy, giving you instructions and missing the main thing. Okay, he's like, I have to play like a dozen videos where one of them slipped and said half an inch. You got to be kidding me. This is like the main part of the instructions. How are you not going to tell me the size of this? Talk, talk, talk. I know I'm talking now, but this is just an intro video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to illustrate as I do things because I want to teach the way I learn. I'm a little ADD. Okay. All right. So here's the yeast that was used. On the wine, something's wrong. I know. You're going to grow with me in knowledge, okay? This is my first time trying to make wine. So I have, you know, things. I've introduced you to this. I introduced you to my fermentations, including the rice that's for the hair. Beautifies the hair. Removes the grays. This over here alone steals a show because um, it is believed, I believe, that it could cleanse your blood and... Uh, MMS has always been used to cure cancer. So this is sort of like a Clorox for the human body. Okay. Removed with, with the removal of the acid because MMS is a Clorox for the human body, except now we have it to perfection where we could remove the acid that has you living in the toilet. Almost impossible to do MMS. And this is the blender. Actually, I used a larger size blender. Okay, so this is the actual blender that I used to uh, grind fresh grapes. You could use frozen grapes. They say it's even better. You could use fresh grapes, okay? So I filled this up twice because it doesn't let you fill it up or else the machine doesn't go. So it wasn't really filled. So I would say a full size of this, of grapes, went in here. But it was strained with this cheesecloth. That's why the cheesecloth is this colored, this color. This over here is something I use. Okay, I use, these are my tools to make the MMS. 